Many of you have been asking for this and we finally are able to bring to you some trail riding footage of the all new Gen 2 Z Force 950 Sport. We're out here at Rainbow Falls. We're just coming in off of the main parking lot trailhead and we're heading to the first uh, waterfall area. Uh, up ahead we have Jeff Strickland's 950 HOEX. We're in the crew cab and we've got a couple more crew cabs behind us. U Force 1000 XLs as well as a Polaris Ranger North Star Edition. So uh, it's going to make for a fun day, a lot of action. We'll be filming multiple videos today, but in this video, we're going to focus on that unit right there. So let's get to it. All right, so that is a 60 inch wide machine. It is completely bone stock, exactly how they come out of the crate. This one came from Main Street Cycle. And uh, Dylan is a owner of a 950 HOEX. So it's gonna be interesting to see his thoughts on this new generation Z-Force. Now mind you, these are in two different classes. The Z-Force 950 HOEX is 64 inches wide, has the trailing arm sus rear suspension, whereas this model is 60 inches wide and has uh, the just double A-arm front and rear suspension. So, gonna be a different feel, but man, the inside of the cockpit of that Gen 2 Z-Force is very nice. It has the same seats. Uh, the wheelbase is, is pretty long, so I'm betting that's giving him a pretty well-balanced, smooth feel and transition over that uneven surface you just saw him go over. Uh, we're kind of coming down off the top of this hillside, down into the bottom. It'll be nice and cool down here. Uh, we'll have a couple of creek crossings we have to make uh, before we find the first waterfall down here at Rainbow Falls. In all reality, most recreational riders, uh, especially in our neck of the woods, you know, you, most of your parks, you're riding your recreational uh, parks and trails, they don't want you to be going very fast. And most of the time when you're doing group rides like this, your average speed is anywhere between eight and 15 miles an hour. Uh, just like right now in this crossing, I mean, we're going five miles an hour in low gear. So, um, it's, it's going to do great. This machine's going to be great for any any kind of recreational rider. The stags that come on this machine, they, they have proven themselves to be an excellent tire. The suspension travel is, is very nice, way better than the previous generation Z-Force. So, it also sounds super good. The stock exhaust, very nice sound to it, nice tone. Just a good looking unit. sure uh, just yet we will find out uh, but I'm interested to see what the turning radius is like on the 950 Sport here versus the, the HOEX up there I want to say 
say that the, the Gen 2 here has a little bit better turning radius than the HOEX. Of course, the HOEX is wider, so that does give the sport here an advantage in turning radius. Typically, that's the case. in the Gen 2 and take it for a little test ride. We'll see them in a little bit. See what they think about it. Well. I mean, they're not in the same class. They're different, you know, trailing arm suspension versus rear double A arm at 60 inches wide. But what do you think about it? It's great. Good. It handles good, runs good. Very good nice. Deal. Good deal. And we solved all the world's issues while yep. we were gone. Yeah. yeah. Everything's going to be okay now. Well, great. Everything great. he'd agree with me on we solved anyway. <laughs> good deal. All right, we'll keep riding. Size from CF Moto at the moment out here together. I hear there's some other things coming. We'll see. Well, that's part one of a series of videos that's coming out from this trip. I didn't realize we were going to get so much good footage. I know that in this video, we just kind of took it easy, but at least you get to see the 950H OEX and the Gen 2 just kind of cruising together. We had some good conversation about it. And uh, it's a great unit, man. So part two, we're gonna get to see that one and the 950 HOEX doing a little more uh, challenging things 
And then part three is gonna be wild because we strap the GoPros in, we go full send. Actually, Dylan, he's gonna be driving and he's gonna really push this unit to the max. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel so that way you don't miss what's coming out up next. It's gonna be fun. You don't wanna miss it. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.